Hi again. Oh, I'm back. I'm just going to have a shot at making another video. Let's see what I can do. We've got our uh, some geese there in our orchard. The leaves are not on the trees yet. I'm just showing you around a bit, but we've got a lot of daffodils here. And um, so I, I thought I'd bring you to the daffodils first. So I'm going to take you around here. There's the hens there. There's some hammering going on. I think Phil's busy. I'm going to show you where I keep my yarn stash. I keep it in the end, back end of this um, store. So all my, my stash is in here. I think a lot of people probably would be envious of that stuff, don't you? Look at it. Some fancy yarns. More fancy yarns. Oops. And more. Some more hair there. It's full right to the back. There's lots and lots of, of trays of yarn in there. There, that's inside. I've been, I've been tidying up in there. Look, it looks a bit better. Okay, but we're just going to have a look and see how the seeds are growing, and then we'll go in there. Hopefully, we won't be too long with this. Okay. There's blossoms growing on the trees a bit more now. There, look. Looks good. And we'll go and have a look and see how the seeds are doing. I've got some more packets of seeds there, look. And um, what's happening? Some, some of my own safe seed lettuce is in there. I call that seed let Peggy after my, um, I save the seeds, I call, and it, it grows well every year, so I called it Peggy after a, one of our pigs. And then there's some gem lettuce coming through. One of the courgettes looks as if it's arrived. The broccoli is doing really well. And uh, I think that's beetroot at the back there. So there is some sign. The tomatoes have not come through, unfortunately. The leeks are starting. Yeah, tiny. I do like to grow leeks. Anyway, that was a quick visit in there. I've got some seeds to put in. I can, I can see lots, lots of work there. So here we go. I, I've tidied up. Well, a bit. I've got these nice cushions that I usually have in here. I've some nice things on the shelf. There's all my crochet with the doilies. And here, in the corner, that's that's Marilyn Monroe. Because when we got this caravan, it was actually covered in old posters. So I kept that one. It's where it was, in the corner. And then because it was Marilyn Monroe, we've called, called the place Marilyn. There, there's a book there. And you can see, it says, Marilyn there. So that's more about this place. There's piles of it there. Could look at one or two of them maybe. What's these? Hold up a few. They're all large hook crochet and they're all achievable. That's one of the early ones. A different idea. More flowers. And that's an easy one to do. We'll have a go at that one at some point. A thinner yarn. I'd use a thinner, a smaller latch hook to make that one. It's, it's, it's um, more like crochet yarn. That's a pretty one. Okay, so I'm gonna go, gonna leave it there and just see how long this video is. Actually, we're doing okay. I've just seen that I can actually see how long the video is by looking at the phone. We've got five and a half minutes so so, so far, so we're not doing too bad. Um, oh yeah, I'll just show you uh, my necklace. Got into one year, I got into doing um, polymer clay, and these are polymer clay beads. Don't know whether you can see those very well. Getting a good view of my crinkly chin, but they've got faces on. I don't know whether you can even see them. And uh, oh, and one more thing I wanted to show you, the green cowl. 
I've been wearing it. It's all done with latch hook. And I've done a nice flower on there as well. It's curling up a bit. I think maybe it could do to be pressed. I'll show you, I'll show you what that looks like on, shall I? If I can. Yeah. So, as I said, it d really doesn't matter when you're making something like this if you're just doing it freestyle or freeform because when you wear it, you, you can't tell whether it, the counted stitches are thin or it's wide or how, what it's like. And it just turns out quite nice. So I'm going to finish there with me and my cowl and we'll see what the video looks like and if it's good enough. And uh, this is video six. OK, bye for now. Um, go on YouTube. See all my videos there. Ross Hill. Um, there's, there's up to about 20 now and I've put these on as well. So um, if you're interested, it's a great thing to keep the kids occupied at this terrible time when we're all stuck in uh, lockdown, aren't we? So uh, stay safe, stay home. Bye for now. Granny Ross, signing out.